Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. It's story time. The book is The Mitten, retold by Jim Aylesworth, illustrated by Barbara McClintock. I see a red mitten flying in the air. Oh, is that the mitten that the book is talking about? Let's find out what happened to it. Once upon a time, there was a happy little boy who loved to play. Yes, he did. In the spring, he loved to climb trees and peeking at baby birds. In the summer, he loved to chase the golden butterflies. Do you also like to chase the butterflies? In the fall, he loved to play in piles of golden leaves. That looks like fun, right? In the winter, he loved to play in the white, white snow. How fun! He's building a snowman. And every winter, because she loved him, the little boy's grandmother would knit a great warm woolen hat that he would pull down over his little ears. A long warm woolen scarf that he could wrap two times around his little neck and a pair of warm woolen mittens for his little hands. And on the cold, cold day of the story, the little boy dressed himself warmly in his hat and his scarf and his mittens, and he went outside to play. He played and he played and he played. But when at last he came inside, it was discovered that one of his mittens was lost. Oh no, said the little boy. Don't worry, said the grandmother. We will find it tomorrow. You've had enough of the cold for one day. How does the little boy feel now? Yes, you're right. He's sad. And because she loved him, she made him a mug of steaming hot chocolate. What do you think the little boy will do next? Yeah, you're right. He will try to drink it. In the meantime, just while the little boy was sipping his hot chocolate, a squirrel came along and saw the lost mitten laying on the snow. Brrrr, said the squirrel. My toes are cold as ice. This mitten looks so cozy and warm toes would feel so nice. So the squirrel crawled into the little boy's mitten to warm his toes. The squirrel found the mitten quite warm and very comfortable. And soon he was so nice and toasty in there that he fell sound asleep. <sniffs> but just then, along came a rabbit. Brrrr, said the rabbit. Let me come in. No room, said the squirrel. Go away. Please, begged the rabbit. My toes are cold as ice. Your mitten looks so cozy and warm toes would feel so nice. Oh, okay, said the squirrel. You can come in. And the rabbit crawled in. It was a bit tight in there for two. Nevertheless, with a little budging over, they were able to manage. 
And very soon, they were nice and toasty warm, and they fell sound asleep. But just then, along came a fox. Brrrr, said the fox. Let me come in. No room, said the rabbit. No room, said the squirrel. Go away. Please, begged the fox. My toes are cold as ice. Your mitten looks so cozy, and warm toes would feel so nice. Okay, said the rabbit. Okay, said the squirrel. You can come in. The fox squeezed in. It was really crowded in there now with three. Nevertheless, the mitten stretched out enough. And soon, they were not nice and toasty warm. But just when they had fallen sound asleep, along came a bear. Brrrr, said the bear. Let me come in. No room, said the fox. No room, said the rabbit. No room, said the squirrel. Go away. Please, begged the bear. My toes are cold as ice. Your mitten looks so cozy. And warm toes would feel so nice. Okay, said the fox. Okay, said the rabbit. Okay, said the squirrel. You can come in. The bear squeezed and pushed and squeezed in. And squeezed and pushed until at last he got himself in. It was very cramped in there with the four of them all squished together like that. Still, they were nice and toasty warm. They were nice and toasty warm. And soon, they all fell sound asleep. But just then, along came a little mouse. Brrrr, said the little mouse in a teeny tiny voice. Let me come in. No room, said the bear. No room, said the fox. No room, said the rabbit. No room, said the squirrel. Go away. Please, begged the little mouse. My toes are cold as ice. Your mitten looks so cozy, and warm toes would feel so nice. We can't, said the bear. Too full, said the fox. No way, said the rabbit. Impossible, said the squirrel. Go away. Please, said the little mouse. I'm just a little mouse. Okay, said the bear. Okay, said the fox. Oh, okay, said the rabbit. Oh, okay, said the squirrel. You can come in. And they all held their breath while the little mouse carefully squeezed into a teeny tiny spot. And for a minute, all was well, until suddenly, the bear and the fox and the rabbit and the squirrel all had to take a great big deep breath of air. And as they did, the mitten burst apart and spilled them all out onto the snow. What a shame, said the bear. What a shame, said the fox. What a shame, said the rabbit. What a shame, said the squirrel. Oh, it is, 
said the little mouse. A terrible, terrible shame. Then one by one, the mouse, the bear, the fox, the rabbit, and the squirrel all went off to find another place to warm their toes. In the morning, the little boy and his grandmother went out looking for the lost mitten. Soon, they came up in the bits and pieces of yarn laying on the snow. What could have happened? asked the little boy. I have no idea, said the grandmother. But don't worry, I can knit another. And because she loved him, that's exactly what she did. The end. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. See you here next time.